Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and we're actually running a new mod uh, along with Milkshake which we've recently been running. We are also running a mod called Warp Zone which adds in a bunch of items from the Four Souls card game which I'm pretty excited to see. Uh, I think that could be pretty fun. Let's try and do Dark Path as the good old bluest of babies. How about that? I can't believe we haven't done Dark Path as Blue Baby yet. That seems kind of mad. Uh, but yeah, so there's a bunch of new items uh, potentially so we'll hopefully see a few of them as we go um and yeah we'll see we'll see what we can get done as good old blue baby here okay extra explosions thank you no thank you oh i am a little bit hungover this morning so apologize if um my commentary is slightly lacking than usual um basically it was my girlfriend's office christmas party yesterday um so had a good old time there it was it was nice got to see a bunch of people that i don't see too often um, and yeah, just just have some nice drinks and some nice food and stuff. It was good stuff. Really enjoyed myself. Thank you for the extra penny. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed myself. It was good stuff. I'm hoping I get a bomb for those um, those pots there because that could be quite good. But this is a mega day for recording though because so I've been saying how um, I've been sort of preparing for Christmas and planning on doing a good amount of recordings. Was meant to do quite a few recordings yesterday before I went to the Christmas party. That did not happen. Because <laughs> my girlfriend uh, rang me, uh, she went to work at like 8am um, and she rang me and said, hey, can you come, like, she was, she was like not having a good time and she was like, can you please come and help me fix something because basically her boss was an absolute dick to her and um, she kicked a hole through one of the shelves at work <laughs> and I, honestly, it sounds like a lot, but you haven't met her boss. It's it's very understandable. Uh, so I had to like <laughs> rush to help her go to Ikea to buy a replacement part and fix it before her boss got in. Ugh, it was... it was annoying. Personally, oh, nice. If it was me, I wouldn't have fixed it. <laughs> Guy's an absolute dick, but eh, it is what it is. Um... So yeah, that was, a, that was a fun morning, and it meant that I ended up spending a lot of my morning that I was planning on recording doing that. And then today, also, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to do the recordings I want to do, because I, while I am planning on doing as many as I can, I do have um, a washing machine repair guy coming around to install a new washing machine, because ours is currently broken. So I'm going to have to see, for one, when that is, and for two, how long it takes. Because I'm, I'm imagining installing a new washing machine isn't exactly a short process. I don't know though. It might it might not be as long as I think, but I have a feeling he's probably going to be here a few hours. Um, because obviously you've got to actually remove the current machine, it bring in the new machine, um, and then hook it up to all the water and everything like that and the power. So I imagine it's it's not going to be a super quick switcheroo, but we'll see. Oh, owl feather is unbelievably good for us. <laughs> Basically, 25% chance for a blue fly to turn into a locust of war. Very good. If we can get a bomb upgrade, that'll be really good as well. Uh, let's blow up these. Very glad we got a secret room out of that as well. Kind of annoyed that you went for the spider there rather than saving it for the boss, but hey her. Hey, we've got two keys as well. I'll open up those. Very nice. That's a, a hell of a lot more bombs, game. That's a hell of a lot more bombs. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I got him back. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll also pop these guys as well. Just looking for a quarter if we can get it. That's also pretty good too. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and we shall destroy said boy here. Wow. Very much did destroy him. That was a, that was a heckin' lot of damage. That was a heckin' lot of damage. Uh, so as for the question of the day today... What's what's your most recent inconvenience? This is good. This, this item's always weird. Sometimes you have to do a really big fire rate boost. Sometimes it's really small. Like that one, it was pretty small. But the shot speed's also quite nice. I don't I don't mind that at all. I'm much going dark path here, so we'll carry on. But yeah, if we can get find find even more ways to get blue flies, that's gonna be really good. But for now, owl feather, giving us a a small chance to um a small chance to get a little locust of war is pretty good to me. I like that. Yeah, got quite a lot of bombs now, good money and stuff. There you go. But yeah, obviously we're still going to get a lot of regular blue flies. It's only a 25% chance. It, it, it's a trinket after all. It has to be somewhat balanced. But um, when it happens, it's going to be good days all around. So I'm going to be happy. Um, what's going on in here? A sort of strange room. 
item room. Ooh, it's gonna be a reflected one. And we're gonna get double Kernhead, which is actually pretty good because although I don't think Kernhead would stack, unlikely to stack, it does, however, um, allow us to get a few extra soul hearts out of it, so I don't mind. Uh, yeah, I doubt it stacks. If it does stack, it's pretty good, but I very highly doubt it does. I'm quickly checking here for another soul heart. There you go. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Yeah. For, for Blue Baby this early on, health is looking mighty nice right now. Which is not something I typically can say about Blue Baby, so... Normally, Blue Baby's like my Kryptonite character, like for some reason I just do really bad as him, for, for no real reason. Um, and so far, having Wafer certainly uh, fills me with confidence. Um, in fact, it might even push to the limits of a Sack Room being somewhat in the cards for us, which is weird to say. Normally, as Blue Baby, Sack Room is like just a never, never, never sort of thing. So we'll see how this goes. Also, as well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to give a go. Um, I, I like at the, at the minute, as, as as a lot of you probably know, I've mentioned it in my videos. I play a lot of uh, like Call of Duty Warzone, and the audio in that game at the minute is not very good. But I found a few guides on how to like set up proper like audio tweakers um, that that like help to set up the ability to hear things in the game easier, but. I'm unsure how it's going to affect recording, because basically you have to like run everything for a virtual audio cable and stuff like that. And I want to do it, it sounds interesting and it sounds like pretty useful. Um, but I don't actually know how it's going to affect my audio for recording videos. Um, but then again, the guy that was making the guide was clearly recording a video while he was doing it, so it should be fine. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm unsure. I'm unsure what I'm doing with that at the moment. But I, I do want to potentially give that a go. We'll pop in here, see what's going on. Unfortunately, not ideal. Um, lots of things that require keys and no keys. I mean, we'll bomb this and see if we get a key. We did. Hello. Hello, good sir. I'll open one of these to see if we get another key back out of it. We got an item, at least. Roll of film. I can't remember what roll of film does, to be honest. Um... Half heart damage is now taken at three hearts or below. Well, we've already got the Polaroid, so that doesn't really help that much. But there you go. Um, how many players would it be for a sack room? It's You want to play it seven times, is it? No. Yeah, set seven, I think it is. So it'd be heart one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's quite a lot of health to lose at the moment. Once I have a bit more health, maybe I'll consider it. But right now, I don't think it's quite worth the cost. Um... Unless the Arcone head would block the damage, but I don't think it would. I don't I don't think it'd work that way. There you go. Take out the child first. That was a very good herming shot, my guy. I can't tell if this creep is gonna damage us, because it's not flashing. Normally damaging creep flashes. So I'm kind of unsure how that how that creep actually affects us, but I'm gonna stay out of it just in case. I feel like it's a good idea to stay away from it if I can. It might just be slowing. Anyways, I think we should be fine to stay away from it for the most part. There you go. Got ourselves an extra soul heart there. Lovely. Bell Clapper's pretty decent. So we can take Devil Deals here. They are only one heart. But honestly, I think I'm going to go Angel Deal anyways. Regardless, it gives us more chance to play Sack Rooms. Um, if given the opportunity. So why not try and roll with that? Makes sense to me, right? And we'll see what's going on in here. Double of these. Okay, we've got some, like, pretty good resources um, here. Unfortunately, that was, like, an absolutely terrible room. Like, bombing two of those and getting a trinket I don't want and a single bomb. I mean, at least it repairs what we did. But I've had stone chests pair out with much better than just that. So that's a, a little bit annoying. Okay. I don't want the Yen Penny, thank you. Don't think Yen Penny's gonna do much for me. Luckily, room's exact not exactly hard, so... Not that bad, but... Okay. Come on, big fella. Die already. He's taking his sweet, sweet time about it. My god, dude. He almost got me. Hey. Good old, good old Penny there. I like that. I like that. Okay. Slightly annoying room here. 
more than slightly. With the update to these guys, this room has become so much harder than it used to be. Like, just because they, they basically lay a trap now. Yeah, like that. Makes them a bit harder. These guys, obviously, ain't, ain't shit. They're fine. But the other dudes that chase you around, they can be a bit of a nuisance. Converts all rocks and poops of the room into pennies. Ooh, that could be useful on a room with a lot of rocks. It has to be a lot of rocks, though, to make it, like, fully worthwhile. Okay, we did get a sacker in this floor as well. That's good to know. Good old sack room. Hey, there you go. Look, see? Four locusts of war. And like I said, they will adopt bomb effects, so it's kind of worth, um... It's kind of worth us trying to get a bomb uh, item. Would be rather nice. Just gotta make sure that I don't have, like, a, a locust of war and an enemy just bump right into me, because that's gonna make me sad. Oh my god. Are you okay? Are you okay, Mr. Sir? Right, back to the item room real quick. But yeah, I haven't really found my, my rock room yet, I don't think. Really, not an item that I'm particularly happy with, so I'd like to get another key to, uh, to get through all that and do a reroll. But I think I need three bombs to get over there. It's quite, quite costly. It's one key, three bombs, and a bunch of pennies to reroll, which is... Certainly a lot. I'm just gonna pop this. Chaos disc. Cool. Kinda wish the chaos disc items or disc items in general actually showed up in your item tracker. Just to give you a little bit more of a heads up of what's going on, because it's easy to forget what you've got. Very easy. Oh, I, I didn't even realise that mushroom guy was still alive. We've got Minos here doing his uh, doing his best. Come on, key. Where art thou? A key and a bomb, please. It's a lot to ask, but honestly, I do not at all want to use that Bob's brain. Um, Bob's bladder or whatever the hell it's called. I'm just not even remotely interested in using that. Minos is, uh, is doing some weird stuff, really. He, M Minos is a weird one. He is good, but he, like, I wish he just targeted one enemy rather than like doing this whole spiel where he like Hits one enemy, then zooms around to another one. You should just target one enemy until it's dead. Also, where am I getting all of these different locusts from? What's, what's, what's going on with that? Uh, that, I, okay. I had a star at the bottomless pit for a short time. That makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, a slightly annoying room here. Just don't get hit by them. It's easy enough to do. Yeah, I think I might do some deleted runs, maybe, after this as well. I do want to see some warp zone items this this run if we can. For fuck's sake, man. Bad hit. 10% uh, chance um, for hearts to drop to be soul hearts. Ooh, that is... I like the, um, the locust there, but that is really good. This might actually be a good room for this, to be honest. It indeed was. Didn't get all of them, but we got quite a lot out of that. Got quite a lot out of that. Now, a crack key doesn't have use here. I also realise I used a bomb, which kind of messes up our plan to uh, get to that reroll machine if we get a key, but whatever. Off at least, at least we have... Um, the protection against the full heart damage. Oh, boy. This guy needs to stop being a fool. Yeah, it looks like we weren't going to get it anyways. We didn't get our key. We'll try and get something with our cracked key going on here, though. I'm probably not going to even pick up the... Can you chill out, guys? This boss is insane. These enemies are too difficult for it to be spawning. Oh man, I'm gonna take some fat, fat damage. Cornhead's protected us a few times. Yeah, I'm gonna take some fat damage to this guy. I know it. I might even use a bomb on him because him spawning those other bats is yeah. Th these bats are not enemies that should be spawned in a boss fight. I'm telling you now. Look, look, look at this bullshit. This is too much. D 
Didn't even hit him with a bomb. That depresses me more than anything. This is an insanely difficult champion, but I don't I don't know if I've ever fought the champion version of this guy before. Or at least if I have, I've had a lot of damage and just killed him instantly. Because this is this is hard, man. You you dare spawn stuff when you've got that much health, you little shit. Fucking chill out! Calm down, you little crackheads. Oh my god, that was horrible. <laughs> seven seals is good stuff, though. I like seven seals. That was that was horrendous. I hated that. Right, where are we going to use our cracked key? Here? Yeah, baby. Feel good about that? I feel a lot less good about that now. It is so annoying. That the, the, the red room pool just has such stinkers in its item pool. Some of the items that are just so, so, so bad. Right. Let's have a little look at this thing and see if we actually want it or not. Trails behind Isaac upon um, contact with enemies. Also spawns a singular buffer and test in between you and Bob's heart to prevent it aiding in self-accidental damage. Yeah, I don't want that. It sounds trash. Okay. Unfortunately, we are leaving with, eh, not, not what I wanted. A lot less health than I wanted, certainly. I'm having to drop my good trinket for, um, a trinket that potentially will keep me alive longer. Right. Let's go. 10% chance to replace hearts with, with soul hearts is just non-negotiable, though. On Blue Baby, it's, on, on most characters, it's good. On Blue Baby, it's insane. But yeah, good old seven seals. I like it as an angel item. I think it's very good. There's good contact damage. Spawns little flies for us as well. I like that very much so. If I had more ways to produce blue flies, then I'd probably think about keeping the other item, but unfortunately I only have the one way right now. There is a key back there, we should go get that. Got the laggy blood trail boys here. Another key there as well, lovely. Keys galore right now, baby. Would like uh, to get to our shop fairly early as well, because we've got a hell of a lot of money right now. Three items worth of money, to be precise. Die already. I'd like a damage upgrade as well. Our damage is pretty pathetic right now. We get this ourselves the Shattered Orb. Can be thrown at enemies to capture their souls. Ooh, very nice. Yes, indeed, I will take that. So we basically capture the essence of enemies. Uh, graves around the room, um, friendly bonies and stuff. Okay. Pretty cool, right? I like this. On a four-room charge, that's pretty good. Speed down. At least that speed is good. Wait, oh, really? The bonies only last one room, though? Okay, that's fair enough, I guess. I was hoping they'd just stick with me. Teardrop charm is pretty decent. I always thought it was plus three luck, but apparently it's plus four. Right, here's our shop as well. So many keys now. Cheese grate is unfortunately not very good. We'll buy restock here. And I think we'll just uh, mainline a bunch of soul hearts. I know it's not exactly the best use of our money, but... I think getting up to really good HP allows us to play sack rooms and just allows us to uh, do some good stuff. Right, anyways, let's keep her going. Yeah, but I definitely like more damage because at the minute our damage is kind of artificially uh, high. Well, not high, but artificially the, the number that it is because of bell, um, bell clapper or ball clapper, whatever it's called. I think ball clapper sounds a little more, little more wrong than bell clapper. So I, I'm going to say it's bell clapper. Even if it's not, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> Ain't no ball clapping going on here, thank you very much. Cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite liking the idea of this um, this active item. Capturing the essence of enemies. Spirit of Chaos. Spirit of Chaos did some interesting stuff.
pretty cool. Yeah, so I, I, I guess we could sort of, like, slightly vet and, and choose who we go for um, with this. I guess we could, but it's not a huge need to. <sighs> There's two rooms back there. Do I care? I don't think I care. I guess it could be Sakura Room, but nah. But yeah, our damage goes down to regular levels pretty pretty quickly, as you can see. Bell Clapper doesn't doesn't last forever. I mean, luckily we've got a uh, good old locusts doing some good damage onto this guy right now. Quite a few uh, war locusts did some good work. This guy's not been too much trouble. Roger and Fungus. Apparently, we are not allowed an angel deal now, so come in here and see what's what. Unfortunately, not great, but. Nine lives, I'm pretty sure, will remove all my HP here, which is kind of annoying. Um, characters that can't have red hearts are set to... Yeah, it's just not worth it. And dark hearts... I'm liking the soul thing, but dark hearts is just better. And then, yeah, all of this stuff is, is kind of... Can appear which provides a risky all stance up. I mean... It's tempting, because I do need an all stats up right now. Nah, I can't take it. I can't do it, people. I can't do it. Anyways, we've got Dark Arts now, which, although I'm not as big a fan of in terms of uniqueness, it is just very, very good. Press Q to try and use it straight off the bat. Not how that works when it's not a pocket item, you doofus. Just so used to it being Q. It just allows us to do damage to the whole room and stay safe during the process, so... I feel like it can't... Oh. Can't be ignored. I mean, the good thing is, we have a lot of safety. The bad news is, we don't have a lot of damage. Right, cool. A completely pointless room. Good, good. Right. Also, it can be used multiple times per room as well, which makes it even better. Secret room. It is a secret room, but it's not one that we want. Damn it. More goddamn trinkets. You could be useful. We have money to burn. Yeah, I think we've got a pretty good, like, pretty good grouping of stuff here that's working in tandem well together. But, I would very much like, like I said, an item that's going to give us some damage up. Or an item from the mod. An item from the mod would also be pretty good. That, that's an aggressive herming there, good sir. Yeah, I, I like Dark Arts for doing stuff like that. Enemies about to hit you, you know you're going to get hit. So you just pop Dark Arts in order to dodge it. You've got to be kind of fast on your reaction with it, but it does work. Oh, shit. The ghost is still alive. Go away, spooker. I'll have none of your business here, thank you. And, on top of all of that, good old free curse room entry is top tier. Boy. See, the thing is, I want to use him, but I know that he won't have the blue baby patch where it only takes one soul heart. I guarantee it takes three. So that guy basically is like a devil deal. I guarantee he'll take three. Get out of here with your little head. Right, unfortunately our item rooms have just not been very good so far. Create a baby just is not, not really the, the type of sauce I was looking to add to my run. Shops have been fine, but nothing special. That's an extra soul heart there. Unfortunately, we do have a big old skull here, but we have no way of popping it open because we don't have enough bombs. We need four bombs at least to pop that open. We currently only have one, so we're a little ways off of uh, having that done. Okay. 
Oh, we're getting through it though. It's a bit of a slog of a run now. It's, it's weird. It's got We've got some very good ingredients as part of this run. But the final pieces aren't quite there. I'm going to go do these other rooms to try and get some more bombs. Because I don't know what that skull could drop, but I know it can drop black hearts, I believe. As well as, um... As well as burn hearts. So that's useful in, in and of itself. God damn it. The ghosts are strong, aren't they? God damn. Well, not strong, but like, take a while to kill. Bit of a bad hit there, but I'm fine. I've got quite a lot of HP. Yeah, we did get a bomb out of that room. Nice. But we'd have to get quite a lot more. Where are they? And we'll check in here as well. Not obviously conducive to um, to building up bombs, but we can get more bombs out of this. I'm going to try it. We did get a bomb back, and we did get an item that's pretty good too. We've got Keeper's Kin, which I quite like. Unfortunately, that guy just hopped right over the spikes. I was hoping he'd just hop into them, but he just went sailing over the top of them. Oh my god, that was I literally captured all of his tears then. That's at least some damage up we can get off of the uh, captured tears. So does that only work for um, Judas? I might, that might only work for Judas. Anyways, yeah, Keeper's Kin, not bad at all. And we are on three bombs now, so we're only one bomb away. Which actually means that maybe if we can buy a bomb from our shop, then we're in with a chance. Now, I don't remember what was in our shop, so we might not be able to. We can, baby. Hell yes. We made it there. Got some soul, soul stones. We've got Hurst Hat. Very nice. Having Hurst Hat and having Kern Head is a good amount of chance to reflect things. Enemies in the current room will drop souls on death spawn pickups. The reward after collecting a lot of souls. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that in the back pocket for now. I don't think it's necessary right now, but we'll, we'll keep it in the back pocket. You need to stop shitting out kids, my guy. This is insane. I've got to be careful because there's creep on the floor here and we do not have any sort of method of flight. Beautiful stuff. And there you go. Tears up. It's not quite damaged, but it's close. To be fair, the, the, the soul of Sam Samuel would have been really good on that fight, actually. I probably should have popped it in there. There were so many enemies, like, I didn't really think about it. Would have been a very good usage of it, I think. Ow. Well, I've got a black heart, so if you hit me again, you all die. Do know that. Pop that a little early. Hello, ghosty fella. Don't have much time for you. <laughs> I like the way I said I don't have much time for you, and he kind of went, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I mean, I kind of did, but wasn't fully intentional. Oh, come on, cash rooms. I've got free cash rooms, and this is what they give me. Sorry, I just need to itch my ear really quickly. Oh, one second as well. I'm actually going to plug my phone in real quick. I'm going to put my phone on charge, because it's, it's low, and the washing machine guy is going to have to ring me at some point, so I probably should uh, have that ready. Um, one second. Right, here we go. Just a half red heart. What does that do to help me, game? Come on now. Right. Ah, oh, god damn it. My dark arts wasn't ready then. Okay, sack room is it. I think it's time. I think it's time for sack room. Especially when there's an extra soul heart there. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. We got the angel teleport, and we got an all stats up out of it as well. Very nice. Beautiful stuff. Back up to full HP. We got ourselves a zealot heart as well here. Okay, not bad. All stats up is at least something. It's still our stats aren't great, I've got to say, but much better than what they were, I guess. Much better than they were. Also, our health is now very nice. 
We're just hoping that our item room here really sells it. It's really something special. Shoots a wave of electricity in all directions, damaging nearby enemies and short circuits. All machines um, in radius, causing them to pay out multiple times and explode. Ooh. That's so fucking cool. Holy shit, I love that. My goodness, that's a really, really cool uh, thingy. I like that a lot. Okay. Gotta remember about that. That seems uh, incredibly powerful. <laughs> As you can see, we get a lot of extra HP in that room now. If we hadn't already played the sack room, I certainly would be playing it now. Right, Chasm. Okay, Chasm is actually very good, although it might be a little late. Um... Right, I'm going to hold on to Chasm here. And see if we can at least get an item out of it. I should probably chasm that. If I can get the money. Heck it, I'm sorry, Donation Machine. I always bully you, but... Right now, I need this more. There you go. Chasmed that. Ooh, technically there's another item there I could get. Um, Okay, back again, back again. Try and charge this bad boy up and get another item in there. Don't really care about the damage I'm taking right now because we've got so much extra HP back there. But yeah, getting up to like a 30% chance for the extra items and stuff. Oh, actually, do you know what I'll do? Nah, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't really matter. I guess I could... If I get my angel deal again, I guess I could cast my key piece as long as I take a bomb with me. Right. Quickly come back this way. Oh, we have a bomb to get a full card, though. We need two bombs. It's too late for two bombs. Also, balls. Oh, wait, what? That guy hit me? I've never been hit by one of those before. I didn't realize this is what happened. Another one of these tedious rooms. Right, so... Okay, we did get two bombs. Good. So I think we... But we... Hmm. We need another charge, though. We would need to find a secret room or something. Actually, okay, okay. I've got, I've got an idea here. Right, I've got an idea. So give me that and give me that. We're gonna come back through here. We're going to come through here, through here. We're going to sack on that. We're going to fight Ariel, which should give us a charge, I think. Just don't accidentally leave the room, which is something that I do often. That did not give us a charge. Okay, that's not what I was hoping for here. Right. Then we do that again. Not what I was hoping for, but actually, it does give us more items in the shop, technically. Then we do that again. We fight you. Can you? I, I think you might be able to see the, the 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 wheels are turning in my brain here. Hopefully. I'm making a play here. Right, then we leave those two there. Right, then we... Come back over here. We buy the battery item in the shop. Allows you to use your active item without having enough charge. There you go. So we buy that. We come back over here. We can come in here now and we can grab our black hearts. Come back over to this. And we pop this in here. 
There you go. Gives us our stats down, but overall, that's good stuff for us. Right, then we need to go and find our full card, which is here. On the off chance we get an angel deal. Wrong room, whoopsie. Right, can we destroy this? We're trying to get you to destroy rocks with your feet so that you spawn more spiders. Kind of slow going still here, but it is what it is. I'm not doing too bad. At least we got full HP as well. We did get an angel deal. Good stuff. We are going dark path. Wait, no. We're going light path, damn it. <laughs> I was really hoping we're going dark path here. Come in here. We bomb you. We kill you. And we use Chasm again, which can give us an even bigger speed down. Then we full card out. Then we go back over here. Back this way. Back over here. We buy this, and we pop it again for an even bigger speed down. Then we take our terrible, terrible speed, and we pick back up Dark Hearts, and we feel pretty happy with what we've achieved. And every room we clear from now on will up our speed slightly and our shot speed slightly. It's a bit of a wonky one. Bit of a wonky one, I've got to say. I think it'll clear our speed. If, if not, I've basically permanently fucked my speed if I've done this wrong, but we'll see. Because I've got two charge bars right now, which isn't intentional. Right. So now, we out of that, we managed to gain like a, what, like 60% chance to fire a 2.75 times damage tier? Right, we'll see if this actually doing a room improves our speed here. Okay, it does. Good, 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 good. We're fine. We're not trapped at low speed forever. Cool. Like I said, we'll gain speed every room, as you can see. Back up to our default levels. But now, even without our base damage, we're firing these blue tiers on occasion. You can see coming out, like, seems to be like a Sort of 50-50 chance of a blue tier, something around that. And they'll deal a lot more damage. And now, even though our damage stat isn't very good, we do have some more damage. Not a fan of all these intestine bitches chilling around. It's actually really annoying. Right. Boss is probably up from here. The speed is almost returned to an acceptable level. Ow. Don't really care about the damage, though. I've got a lot going on here, so... Ow. Okay, speed is now back up to an acceptable level. But it will keep raising until we completely clear our debt. Ow. A lot of damage I shouldn't here, but we've got a lot of health to work with, so it's fine. It's mostly fine. Binky, very good tears up, very, very huge tears up. Able to go straight to the boss, I'm happy about that as well. Still haven't used our soul here, but we'll see. Um, ugh, it's probably all the way down there, isn't it? How I didn't get hit there is an absolute mystery to everyone involved. That was bizarre. Okay, now I finally got hit. It was going to happen at some point. Golden bombs is rather nice. Especially when you have no bombs, actually. Degas, look at that. That's beautiful. Our health is still full. 
even after all we've done, to squander it. Hey, and there you go. This is why Golden Bombs is great. We find ourselves a giant prop rock. We find ourselves two giant prop rocks, in fact. Okay. Now we in business, baby. We got ourselves placenta, which unfortunately isn't of any use to us at the moment, but it's an item, I guess. Excuse me, where'd that bomb go? And we get ourselves stem cells. Great. Okay, two items that are literally worthless. But, whatever. It's fine. Went the wrong way here. Oops. I already know the right way, so that was very stupid. Ow. Ow. Stuff. Okay. I guess I could bomb these out. Fortune and Fortune. Don't care about either of those, really. Eh, technically... Nah, nah, it's fine, it's fine. I could, I could have used one of them for that big room over there, but I don't really want to have to redo it. I think it would reset the rocks. I don't know, let's, we'll try it, we'll try it. I've had it before where, where uh, D7ing a room resets those rocks for some reason. So I want to see if that works again. Like staying all the way to the left here. Alright, good, good. We got a Devil Deal here as well. Devil Deal has an actually good item in it as well. Very nice. Finally, a damage up. Right, gonna go quickly go try something here. This might be a waste of time, but I've gotta see. If I fortune this room. Nah, it didn't work. I was hoping it'd reset those rocks back to being rocks again. I wanted to come back into this room regardless, because I wanted these items now that I've uh, lost my HP. Oh god, that guy landed on me. Oops. One second. My god, I'm a moron. I just accidentally stopped the recording rather than clicking unpause. That's the first time I've ever done that. Like, I have been using this, uh, OBS to record for a long time. That is the first time I've ever made that mistake, and that's a annoying one to make, because now I have to go and stitch it together in editing, which is just a pain. Why am I so stupid? God damn it. That was, that was really dumb. Anyways, it, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Oh, I used my soul by accident. Well, I wasn't using it anyways. Sack of keys. I, I, I mean, to be fair, could be useful. Can I fire from the middle of the room here? No. Nah. Oh, I can't even use my active. This is some bullshit. Well, is there anywhere that I can shoot? Is there like a gap anywhere in all of this? Right here? Unfear me, please. Yeah, there you go. Right, good. Good, good. I managed to, I managed to get rid of most of it. Okay. <laughs> that was rather annoying. Ah, oh, but yeah, that was really stupid. I just came back and I was like, yep. Unpause the video. Click the wrong button. I mean, they are next to each other, but it's still the first time I've ever made that mistake. I'm, I maybe should not have them next to each other. God damn. You, you can, I can't believe the like back in back in day back in day when I when I was baby small YouTuber. Um, I like OBS didn't have a pause recording function. So I if I, if I was going to record, I had to know that I had like a guaranteed free hour. Uh, or I had to stitch it together in editing, so I had to stitch a lot of videos together in editing. It was a massive pain in the ass. Um, I'm very, very glad that they uh, introduced the pause function, because makes it a lot more tolerable. Rather than having to constantly uh, stitch together videos in editing, because, I mean, for, those, for most of you probably already know this, but I don't edit my videos. Like, I, I literally just upload the, the MP4 as soon as it's done recording, because... My videos don't need any editing. There's some that I edit um, every now and again, but very, very rarely. Um, and so, yeah, it's it's annoying when I have to edit because I don't normally do that. Can you bugger off, you little weird hand creep? Anyhow, should be using my uh, dark arts a little bit more here. 
Oh god, this is going to be a very annoying room with all the visual clutter going on. It's not that bad, actually. I was expecting that to be a really difficult room to see what was going on, but... Kind of managed to keep them all out of the way. Right, good stuff. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better at my damage now. It's not it's not quite as crappy. It's it's actually able to beat Blue Baby at this point, I think. Which yeah, I wasn't I, I was I was expecting it'd be a real struggle beating Blue Baby unless our four uh, golden chest items were really good. But now I'm feeling a lot more confident. Right, you you stay stunned you. I really, really like the new uh, light patterns. Such a interesting change to Isaac without, like, he's still the same, but he's got a little bit of variation now rather than it just being, oh, stand exactly here every time and you'll be fine. I'm actually got to think. Right, down we go. Let's hope our four items are still good, though. We actually got a golden uh, reflected chest here, which is nice. Strange Attractor's fine. Cherry Bomb's fine. PhD's whatever. Holy light, though. Ooh, baby. Unfortunately, we can get any new items this run, which is a bit of a shame. Don't really know where I'm going here, to be honest. This looks a bit all over the place. I'm going to gamble on this way. Good, good. Right. Where are we going? All the way to the left here? Oh, yes. Holy light is making me feel good. I haven't had Holy Light in such a long time. Ah, it wasn't this way. God damn it. Oh, this is an annoying room. Right, where now then? Where now? It's got to be that room all the way to the right, hasn't it? Oh my lord. Some of these rooms, man. Okay, that time I actually did pause it correctly. I had to sneeze really badly. Luckily, I've got a beast of a PC now, so rendering times are very minimal as to what they used to be. And my old PC, biggest problem with editing is that render times were excruciatingly long sometimes. Like, if I wanted to render an hour-long video, hour long video, it could be like 30 minutes or so. Now it's like four. <laughs> Right. Oh my lord. The soul thing would have been so good in this room. But I wasted it. Right, we did find the boss at least here. Too much slippy stuff. So many cherry bombs as well. Right. Boss time. Got a lot of flies from that as well. <laughs> Remember to try and use dark arts to dodge certain things. And remember this guy, he's got that boss armor, so he's going to take a while to kill at first, but then he'll get easier. Oh, we've got some knockback going on with this guy at the minute. Ah, just dark arts this attack. Do they have to walk over the cherry bombs to trigger? I'm not exactly sure. Okay, it should be a next phase now, pretty much. There you go. Oh, this, has been a, this has been an interesting run. It's been kind of a struggling run, but I think we, we made the best of bad situations and ended up coming out on top. Probably like doing some good stuff here. We've already done Delirium, so we don't need to do that. There you go, baby. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.